morning, dearly beloved. <laughs> How are you doing on this gorgeous morning? Woo, it's the day after the blizzard decimated Northern Ohio. <laughs> uh, we have been in recovery mode. Recovery mode. Yeah, we are just trying to catch up now on some much needed sleep. <laughs> yeah, we haven't slept for three days. You heard me right, three, three days. But now we are entering maintenance mode. Maintenance mode. Which consists of uh, going to trash the local car wash and slathering everything down in fluid film. Yeah, I do believe the total snowfall for this here blizzard was about a foot. <laughs> now, I know, I know, I know, it doesn't look like it, but if you imbeciles would listen to my videos, you would learn, because I'm trying to spill my knowledge out into your small cranium uh, cavities, okay? And uh, what I've told you in the past is that the camera adds fat and subtracts inches. I've told you this many times. Okay, for future reference, remember this, okay? But anyway, on top of it all, uh, the two properties that we uh, salt and snowplow are what's known in the biz as zero tolerance. <laughs> and what that means is they have zero tolerance for our BS. <laughs> yeah, I'm just standing here admiring my land how glorious it is. It makes me feel so good to own this land. And, uh, but what makes me feel better than that is knowing you will never own it <laughs> or anything like it. So, uh, you know, you must look up to me. <laughs> yes, indeed. Also, this here salt bunker is doing great. <laughs> What is that? Oh, that's my new thing. <laughs> I've been, I've literally been trying to stop saying yeah a lot. So I've started this <laughs> clicking thing like Aborigines or something. <laughs> and uh, as for the gutters, it's the best thing I ever did. <laughs> Despite all the haters hating on it, these gutters have worked marvelously, darling. <laughs> So guess what, haters? You can go pound sand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just sitting out here, waiting on the bobcat to warm up. It's gonna take about an hour. In the meanwhile, I'm looking up NOAA weather radar. <laughs> and it's telling me that a uh, ice blizzard's coming. Ice blizzard, everyone. <laughs> It's going to be good for about three videos, I'm just telling you. <laughs> Cha-ching! <laughs> oh man, I, I want to give a big shout out to Noah Weather Radar. <laughs> First one's a freebie. Call me. <laughs> oh, it also says that 13 snow plows have been hit during this snow event. 13! I've only hit two, I know, personally. So, be careful out there, you nitwits. <laughs> Windows down so all the haters see me. Back then they didn't want me, now they want to be me. Keep the grass cut low, cause them snakes still sleazy. Always knew I had to glow, I just had to find a reason. Uh, walking around looking like I own the place. I don't waste no food, man, I always finish off the plate. Ain't come to play. Trenches, baby, can't believe we made it safe. Something out of nothing, yeah, we made a way. So hungry, think I over ate. Every single shot. Well, we're out here pre-salting the lots. I mean, they're bone dry, but we're gonna salt them anyway, baby. Cause there's an ice blizzard to coming. <laughs> oh, but I wanted to share a little story that, uh, something that I learned about five years ago. So you're five years behind. <laughs> you're five years behind me. Yeah. Uh. Um. I was at the GIE, it was called at the time, and uh, I happened upon a snow management master. 
And he gave me this wisdom, and I'm going to share it with you for the first time anywhere. Okay? Here goes. Pre-treating pavement before a major storm is of great benefit in the long run, saving you both time and money. With this process, you can reduce your salt use to 25% compared to what you use if you de-ice after a storm, period. I did not read that at all. That was all from my cranium right here from five years ago. Believe it or leave it. <laughs> I can hear you now with your nubby fingers typing away. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, I did plagiarize it from a website called Earth Development, okay? It wasn't a story at all that I learned. Okay, okay. But if I've learned anything in the last four years, it's that a little plagiarism never hurt anyone. <laughs> I mean, look. Look at our great president. <laughs> yeah.